Jay's our money. He really yeah. is. Yeah, he's so him, awesome. Him and Mance in a room could probably. Oh, Jesus run. Christ. It's yeah. an electric. It's they a, can could, power yeah, Burbank. Power yeah, buildings yeah. On, yeah. For sure. Power California. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. How's your butt doing? Uh, it's better now. Yeah, it's my good. stomach more than, than that. Oh, okay. It's just chicken or something. It was chicken plus moving, and it's just a, it's it's just a lot to read. There's I get a lot it. going Dude, on. Life is a lot. Not okay. a young uh, not a young chicken anymore. Hey, oh. So I shouldn't eat it. Little chick. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so this is a full hour here. We got some cool news uh, running around the, the movie sphere, but there's other shit going on, no pun intended. Um, you know, one of the things that I guess we mentioned. We're going. We had, I had this poll on my mm. Twitter about where we're going to go. It is so close. Almost five thousand votes right now. Wow. Chicago is only up by like two percent. Mm. What's the second? Boston. Boston. But it's but they're all in the twenties. They're all in the twenty mm. range. Like it's Boston. Pittsburgh is pretty damn close. So like, Pittsburgh. Yeah, wow. Pittsburgh. It's, it's it's the fourth. The yeah. They're, they're, would they're hate bringing it, it up right now. But I, um, <laughs> but we it's and. This is it right now. So right now it's Boston at twenty six percent, Pittsburgh at twenty two, Atlanta at twenty three, and Chicago at twenty nine, with almost five thousand votes. Why does two Boston have the check mark? Uh, he voted Alex. No, this is oh. Alex's. Oh. This is Alex's. Um, oh, Alex. Okay. But, but I would honestly, I I would vote for it too. I want to go to Boston. But <coughs> this is, this is the bottom line about all four of those cities. I talked to our. This is what I like to do. This is not final right now. I know there are a lot of Schmodown fans who are listening, and then they post in the Facebook group on Schmodown after I make these little announcements. Um, this is what my plan would be if I had it my way today. Yeah. I would like to open up the season again in January in Brooklyn. Yeah, at the uh, <laughs> at the roulette, the same one, the same one that we did. Brooklyn. Yeah, February. I would like to go to Atlanta. Um, ah, should be. T- yeah. March, yeah. hot Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, March. I would like to do the free for all again in downtown LA. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. April. I would like to do Anaheim for Jesus. Star Wars. So that's an event a month for Star Wars. So we're doing twelve yeah. next month. Yeah, so mm-hmm. next year. Star Wars celebration would be you know right around that time. So that's why I'm going to try to do SoCal the two in a row. Uh, and then in May we probably do Boston or okay. Chicago or, or flip flop flip flop and then nice. there'll be other cities. So we're going full on tour That's next awesome. year. Twelve at least twelve twelve times next year we're going to do live events. If I don't retire, yes, I'll make a prediction now. What are you going to do? That I'm going to knock out William Bibiani from the free for all. Oh wow, you're going to take him out of the free for all? Wow, him right now. he wow. was so. Yeah. Crazy he last good. year. He's a legend this in the free year, yeah. And I'm going to change the shirt to sit down <laughs> from still standing and I, wear dude, it we can at make every that. screen. We like can make does. that now. What Let's you, do that. What do you th- What do you do when you're meditating or whatever outside? When you're wait- when you're just uh, sitting on the floor? What visualizing, are you about? visualizing, trying to calm myself down, trying to be like, you might get up here when you get up or you get down. Uh, remember that you're still uh, in it. So yeah. I'm just constantly telling myself and visualizing all the possible scenarios and then letting myself react to it naturally and then bringing myself down so that when it happens in the game, I can bring myself down to a level place quicker. Well, you guys are both still in it right now because a singles tournament is coming around the yeah. corner here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got Stacey Howard in the yeah. first round. You got Rachel Silvestrini yeah, in the, the first round. One. Yeah, And she's good, man. Yeah, Silvestrini is great. Yeah, she's, she's good. She gave uh, Preston all he could handle and she's been yeah. watching. She did. She's done what I did, which is watched all these matches matches over and over and over and again. She is in the studio all mm. the time. So you by osmosis, you learn how to play the game. And then by osmosis, you pick up that knowledge. Right. So she's no pushover. It's going to be a tough match. Same thing yeah. Stacey. You, Same. Don't, you never Stacey. know what you're going to get with Stacey. She's you never know. hot and cold, but when yeah. she's hot, she's hot. When she's yeah. hot, you got to watch out for that. Yeah. And she's she's. I think she's one of the best players out there. Seriously. She's the, always she's a better guesser than Makuga, and that's saying a lot. E- exactly. <laughs> and so <laughs> you, you can't sleep on Stacey yeah. Howard. What do, you, what do you do, Riley, before, before to prepare? I play music and get out of my head. And I just have fun. Yeah. I, I, I don't. It, it's my form of meditation. Yeah. I put on fun music to relax. Yeah. and I start dancing. Yeah. Seriously, I'll dance and I'll I'll have fun and I'll just get out to of get my, that silly mood. I well, just get out of well, my head and the, walk on. Well, that debate has been going on. I like the debate to be honest with you too, because you know the Shire Rules step down mm-hmm. and they have one more yeah. big match on August twenty second. Yeah. And inside of the, uh, the inside of the, the Facebook uh, group, there was a discussion. You know, someone had said, "Well, you know, now that all the the uh, because Rachel Rachel had said in February, Rachel isn't a full time editor. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's right. hard. It's not like she's not in this movie yeah. space to where it's like she's always like a lot of the people inside the space. You guys are even though you're studying, yeah." You, you're in it, yeah. and you hear yeah. about the latest news. Rachel's got to take her job, yep. and then she's got to take this other thing, which is not, you know, it's right now not paying enough for her to be able to do that. And I get it. Mm. Uh, and some, and she said, you know, it's just that kind of dedication for the the player that comes in and studies. It's hard for me to sustain that. And someone wrote yesterday, well, this is kind of the problem I, I think that it has with Shmoda. They take it too serious now, and I'm like, it. If it was the same bit 
from the Schmoes No Show on 2014, 2015. Right. That show would have been that would have been done years ago. The fact is, we're trying to evolve yeah. it and turn this thing. It's not for everybody, but it's about as intense. I took friends there from New York and had no idea what it was. And they, and they, the Merle and, and yeah. Irwin match. They were taking pictures with, with Merle afterwards, going. I don't know how that guy knows that exactly. much. Mm-hmm. To me, that he, he's my friend was like, it was like watching like a tennis match and going, yes. how does that guy do that? Yeah, because yeah. that's the thing. You you bring people that aren't necessarily huge movie fans or, or that knowledgeable about yeah. uh, you know movie news or whatever mm-hmm. we're talking about, and but you it, you they see how they get really impressed mm-hmm. with right. every, all like, the knowledge you, you know guys. It? So similar to like if you watch uh, uh you know a hockey game, you don't know how to play hockey, right. you're still impressed that's by their exactly skills. Right. It, it's you know? a, exactly right. It's a sport. I mean, if you it's get to a really heated match and somebody gets a five pointer right that could either win the game or tie the game right. or whatever it is and they take that time and they're trying to pull and then and they hit it or they don't oh. i mean it's like wow that cr- and especially it, when that crowd when that, it, it, that crowd event. and we're going to be doing fun. a lot of it so look there are three more there are four more events this season that you can get a ticket to if you've never seen it before and you're in the area yeah. come check it out see what we're talking about we're talking about uh new york which is august 31st that's going to be cool the schmodownlive.com we also have the shire wolves uh, live uh, streaming thing with corruption also this month <sighs> next month is arizona and then october is orlando orlando and, yes uh, we finish up the year live with the Schmodown so Spectacular fun. in Los Angeles. All right, moving on. Let's. I want to hit right into this topic here with <laughs> with the Obi Wan stuff, man. Yeah. Because this has been going on for a while. The, um, the rumors, the speculation, all of it. Right. So what? 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 Were you were about to what? say something. No, what? I just I was just thinking Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Obi Wan. How no, how no one I has didn't been, say Well, that restaurant yeah. that did the thing about Thanos will probably make it, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Obi-Wan. I hope so. Obi-Wan it's probably already been done. It's already Someone been done, I'm sure. Someone had to have done Obi-Wan. Yeah. These Somebody are, make really a good. cumbia with Obi-Wan. These music. are not the drugs you are looking for. Obi-Wan. <laughs> 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 he is still working on his food machine. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sorry, Cody, I don't know if that, did that mess up your shot? No. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 because this thing was but very this, is, this news is not surprising, right, to anyone. No, no but it's refreshing, and yeah. I'll tell you because there, there was this um, 2013 when they were starting to talk about what movies were to come. The standalone spinoffs. Obi Wan was always up there. Yeah. It was always the talk of what oh, was yeah. going to happen, how it was going to happen, and then it just kind of went away for a little bit, and then it's then the rumors started to come in, and then we had heard there was like there was a full blown script for this mm-hmm. thing, and then yeah. the director of Billy Elliot was coming on to do it, and there was all these things that were supposed to happen, and then there were rumors, and then I you hear things that they thought maybe because of the solo stuff it wasn't going to work. Right. But Disney Plus then, and I think even though Ian McGregor was at that premiere, that's he why was. was. He's been yeah. talking to them for a while about it. But but Star Wars Newsnet, I believe, was the first mm-hmm. site yeah. to break. John Howie, yeah. I believe they were the first ones to break that uh, it was going to be a streaming. They, they were talking Disney about it for Plus. streaming for yeah. Disney Plus. They broke it in February. They yeah, 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 yeah. And and that was and that's and it makes a lot of sense when you think about it because what do you hear? You're hearing six episodes. Six episodes, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's so, it's, so it's not like a mini series. Well, it is. It, it, it is. is. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah, it's like that's six, perfect. It's a six-hour movie. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Perfect. That's, that's, that's all what I mean. you need. And also, I think he's he's one of the re- he's the only one other than IG88, of course, right. that I've been interested in getting to know more of his story because he's the one that's been with. The young Skywalker, right? And Dad's guy. Right. Like he, he actually, you know, that there's so much to explore there. Yeah, there really. Is. Some people are thinking that like Darth Maul is going to show up and. No chance. Oh yeah. Uh, no chance. It doesn't make sense because they're rebels. Yep. It doesn't right. make sense. Right, if it right, show right. if he sh- if they show up during that time, that would be so silly because they would contradict everything that rebels in. Now I know that some people don't agree with me. Don't 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 like this idea. I think it makes a lot of sense to have a confrontation with Vader in this. I do be- too. Because sure. because of what's said, there's two things that are said in Return of the Jedi that would make a lot of sense here for this to happen. Right. The first is. When Luke is with um, Obi Wan, mm-hmm. and he says to him, "He's more machine now than mm-hmm. man." The last time you saw him was when he was burning up on Mustafar, as right. far as we know, right? right. So how right. do you know he's more machine now than man? How do you know that? That's why there's. Uh, I'm sure there's other encounters that we. That's what I mean. Seen, that's yeah. that's the first. That's the first. The other okay. one is when Luke is with uh, Obi Wan. Excuse me, Luke is with Vader, Vader. on the bridge, mm-hmm. and he says, "Obi Wan once thought as you did." When? When? Yeah. Not a Mustafar. Right. You know, and it's like, ah, but people try to make the argument, yeah, no, he did when he first tried to confront him. No, 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 he didn't. He, t- he didn't know there was still good in him. He was trying to get him to say, like, what, what, the, what the hell are you doing here? But he didn't see good in him. If they do this series to where he feels that he, there's still good in him. Yes. And he goes to confront him, and now he knows, no, there's no good in him, and he's more machine now than man. And do you think that 
maybe he's trying to pull him back from the dark side, that that could be a motivation for Obi-Wan? I, yes, I think Obi-Wan is, is on Tatooine looking over um, Luke. Luke, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did something along the lines of what they did w- with Luke, but differently, to where he just he's, he's shut off from the Force, you know, mm-hmm. just because that way, because if you have, um, if you know that the Empire is out there, and it would make sense, like, how do they not know where Obi-Wan is? They can sense him, right? But if right. he shuts himself off the way Luke did, yeah. but he does it because of protection, not because of, uh, you know, Luke just, just didn't want to do it. He shuts yeah. himself off for protection and then wakes up because he gets some, wait a minute, Anakin's still alive? Exactly. What, what, is, what is the moment? And I think this is where they're going. When he realizes that it, Darth Vader is Anakin. Right. Because mm-hmm. that, that we never seen that in canon. Right. Mm. So that's an interesting thing well, to explore and, as well. And also, I mean, if you, you know, we were, I was just talking about this with a friend that the end of Rogue One, you see Darth Vader actually like, you know, become a horror movie. Yeah. So we also haven't really seen that transition, right? From like him being burned up in Mustafar to that. Right. Right. To, so that's it. So like, so going that, through like all the, well, the cycles of the, both, well, I not just mean in the movies. In the movies. Yeah, that's correct. what I right. mean, right? And so right. not a lot of people have seen that right. transformation right. and who around him as Jedi have actually tried to like, well, you know, be like, hey dude, like come back to us. You're right, because that's what we thought we were getting in the prequels, right? We thought we were going to maybe get, get him, see him how he was in the episode right. one, then he turns and then from two and three, we're going to see him hunt down the Jedi and you, we didn't see that. Yeah. We see a lot of it in the comics and and the TV show and, and Rebels. The stuff, yeah. Rebels and the stuff that they did in, in a lot of the comic books, the Vader, the young mm. Vader comic ones, phenomenal stuff. Lords of the Sith, the novel by Paul S. Kemp. Uh, there's some great stuff in there of the things that we wanted to see. That we could see in the we miniseries. We could see it yeah. and, and for six episodes. Yeah. What a, and, and let's turn it over to Vader. What if Vader, if we get some more, de- something deep going with Vader, like where's Obi-Wan? Like he has this like kind of thing going on, this obsession, whether or not... You know, Order 66, did it kill Obi-Wan? Right. No, there's no confirmation. What is that for Vader? Mm-hmm. Is he right. reaching out trying to see if his, his old master is still alive? Because yeah. he has that that obsession with wanting to best him yeah. again now, you it's know? It's like the Hannibal series. They should just make out. <laughs> well, That's fine, too. Yeah. But the mask but is a problem. There's also there's two things here. One, you if he's still the master... We have to see the frustration of Vader not being able to beat him. Right. That has yeah. to be an hell of a yeah. right? Well, because he and says that line. He, exactly. says, he says, the last That's time I, I, I met you, I was but the learner. He's, he, yeah. can still take, Student. he can still, he's still owner, learning. He can take ownership over the fact that he's still not the master. Right. And that's how it works. And then Because it's all based on the samurai stuff, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. That, that Lucas based off Kurosawa. Yeah. So it makes sense. And the second thing is, how close is Vader going to come to realizing Luke is his child. Like, uh, what does Obi Wan yeah. do to stop that from happening? He learns he through Boba know. Fett, though. Right, he right. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. How, how is that, how close is he going to come through the series yeah. to maybe getting close to Luke? I don't know. Yeah. It's, you know, the other yeah. you know, the other question, and I think that this is now a given because all this information got leaked pretty early. Mm. D23 is what, in they're next gonna week? Yeah, they're going to announce it at, yep. at D23. Mm-hmm. He'll probably come out on, out on stage during the Disney Plus stuff. Now, we were talking, Riley and I were talking before we went on air here about when we thought this was going to air. We're just a little uh, off on opinion here. He thinks it's coming out in 2021, which I think is a, 2022. Yeah, wow. I, I think if they announce it and they start, they, they, well, conceivably, if it's all in place and they start filming next year, then 2021. But what if they're going to do it another year, then so, 2022. So you're saying 2022. I think they could. I'm going to just say 2021 if okay. everything's in place. Okay, then we're on the same page because I think 2021 because I think they already had a script that yeah. they were developing. That's where I think I'm it's going. been so quiet for a while. They've been working on this thing for a long time. They weren't going to announce it until they were ready to ready to go, sign them for a contract. I think 2021, I think they'll release both. Maybe even Cassian comes out afterwards. Yeah. Before, I don't know, but if they put two series out because – Disney Plus is trying to get in as many eyes and ears as possible. Yeah. Do you want to wait until 2022 to get Obi-Wan and possibly Darth Vader? Because if you, have, if you see at, for an ad, Obi-Wan and then just the battle with, with Vader, people are signing up. Even oh, and a lot yeah. of the hardcore fans right. think like, oh, I don't need to see Vader. Yeah, but the casual fan's going to see Vader and sign up right away. Another so, Oh, yeah, ahead, so I have a question, uh, just in general of excitement purposes, because we got, we got, obviously as Star Wars fans are excited about The Mandalorian, but now that this news has come out, and I am not surprised by it, I am more excited about yeah. this, yeah, like yeah. easily, just right away, not only because Ewan McGregor is great, and nobody, I mean, to fill Sir Alex Guinness's shoes is incredible, like what he did is incredible, even with something I, I did not like the way it was directed with the yeah, prequels, right? right? And on top of that, we also get to, like we talked about, we, we get to explore 
uh, a lot of stuff I didn't see in the prequels mm. that I wanted to see. And that's you know, a great that point. that's the biggest point. It's like I didn't want to see a, a whole movie with Anakin as, as a child. You right. know, I'd yeah. rather much see the conflict between him and Ben. Well, mm-hmm. you, the other thing that we also get a chance to do especially when you have an actor of Ewan McGregor's caliber, Mm -hmm. is for six episodes, and let's say anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour an episode, that's what TV is so good for, you're going to really get into character and Mm -hmm. understand and give this guy a chance to shine. And he shined in the prequels, but not in the way that you know that he has in other movies. And so when you really see it, and you're able to find out more about Obi-Wan, that when you look at that fake trailer that the guy made, um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he he took the stuff when, when, when Ewan McGregor played Jesus and he mm-hmm. kind of made it look like a, an Obi-Wan movie and you see that there's going to be a lot of conflict in Obi-Wan yeah, yeah. there's going to be a lot of conflict in him because he's he's out on Tatooine he, he's, he's all he's doing is protecting this kid it's on him he's in the middle of this shit planet yeah. right? and he's got to walk around doing all these mm-hmm. th- and, and whether or not he's using the force not using the force I mean he used it a lot in, in the comics so you're probably going to keep it how did he get to be such a chill also angry hippie. Right. <laughs> Basically is what that's I want to know. He stopped yeah. being angry though after I think after the Clone Wars though. I think maybe exactly. around that time maybe what, that's what we'll learn because he's happens. chill as hell during Rebels. Yeah. You, you yeah. get older you calm yeah. down that's what happens. Uh, three things to think about. One you got to do it quicker if you're going to like James Earl Jones is, isn't a young guy so if he's going to be doing the they, voice I think they can get a voice. Do you think they'll the, start the, recording stuff? There's or, a guy out there right now okay. that does a great Vader, Vader? And okay. I, I, I can't remember. Someone sent them to me, and it was like, no, because I was talking about it, and they, and they okay. sent me the sample of this guy, and he's so good, and I, I, I'm bummed that I don't remember his name. Um, James Earl Jones, it's very noticeable. It, yes. it worked for Mufasa. Yeah, it did. But it's very noticeable that he's up there in age mm-hmm. and like, during Rogue One, and especially and that's one scene or two scenes that you, right. you got. Imagine a whole. Yeah. Is, if, if you're if you're gonna do it, and this right. is all speculation, we don't even know Vader may not even be in it. Yeah. And if he's not, and if he's not in it, then this isn't a problem. But if he is in it, then yeah, I think because eventually you're gonna use Vader more and more stuff, right? Yeah, especially yeah, yeah. If you're doing TV stuff. Find another guy. So then, do it. And then my other question is, who do you want? Do you want to see Mara Jade? Do you want to no. see Ahsoka Tano? Do you want to see... Ahsoka would Ahsoka be may, would, awesome. Could, Ahsoka could make sense. Yeah, because could during make that sense. Time, because that she's time. fought him, and too. She, well, she knows that he's... Well, well that... She hasn't fought him at the up, Vader. Up to, I mean, yeah, but she hasn't fought Vader up to. If is the rebels, thing? Rebels is way after. Him. Okay, because if if they do it in the time period, okay. I was right. say, we don't know hope. the time period yet. Right, but but right. he's if they put him in that time period, then they're going to have to make you and McGregor look like Alec. Uh, yeah, yeah, goodness. yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Um, Good point. But if I th- I think, uh, and again, this is this is pure speculation, uh, it would make sense to have it happen anywhere between five to ten years after Sith, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. because we we're, we'll probably take place. I don't need to see him. You know him and baby Luke and everything right. too. Luke, Luke could be ten or fifteen years old. You yeah. know, and then or maybe just, ten, maybe ten because that's, that's nine years away. Just an hour of a Obi Wan episode where he's just carrying baby Luke around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why Luke likes the, the milk, the blue yes, milk. Exactly. From actually, <laughs> thing. L- yeah. Luke's baby's day out. Yeah. Uh, what about, what, yeah. what about yeah. three men and what a about baby? A, what about Qui Gon Jinn, <laughs> Force Ghost? Let's do that. I hope that happens. Yeah. And oh, for sure. Because right? yes. in Claudia Gray, uh, in the in the Claudia Gray, was it the Claudia Gray story in the? Um, what's the, I always forget the name of that mo- novel, the one with all the stories that from a certain point of yes, view. Yes, certain point yeah. of view. What a how, nerdy, awesome title. And how, and, and, and <laughs> how do I not? Re- and how do I never remember it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so there's there's a scene like during right when you know when Luke goes to find Baru and Owen dead. Mm-hmm. That scene, they cut Traumatizing back. Traumatizing scene as a kid. Yes, yeah. but they cut back to it in this novel, and you and, or Obi Wan has a conversation with Qui Gon mm-hmm. in in Ghost mm-hmm. Form. So he is there. So it would be great to have him. Because Liam Neeson signs on to do anything. Of course. So, yeah, so it would be great to have him on. He's there. like Gary Oldman, right? They just make like five and movies yeah. a year. They'll do like taking that. six. He can do this. But if he does that, how? You would, oh. Oh, there it goes. Nice. There it not, is. Not, yeah. not a drop. Not a drop. How Jesus. great would that be, though? Like you think about those <laughs> big reveals that happen in TV shows. If you're yeah. watching, like, did you see last night's episode? Yeah. Quiet on, shut up! Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, you can, you can say that'd be awesome. So there's so much cool stuff that can happen. That's yeah. I like the idea. Of going back to Ahsoka, yeah. I think it's a. I think that would be amazing to introduce a live action Ahsoka sure. through Obi Wan. Yeah. yeah, she wouldn't have a big role though. It'd be like it'd be that's remember, fine. Remember, but that's fine. She's but on the run. You, you get you, right. But right. if you have that actress, you cast it. You you yeah. establish the look and then see how I, it plays. Let Ashley then, Eckstein do it. I would let too. her do it. She That'd be amazing. Do it. Yeah. She's dressed up as her before, but. Um, 
Yeah, it would. I think that she's well aware. Who, who are you texting? The Sorry, lady? It's my girlfriend. She's checking in. What are we doing? Doing the prank. Uh, what did she text you about? She knows I'm not feeling well, oh, so she's okay. just checking in. Oh, okay. gross. I'm sorry. That's Let's really go. Anyway, Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, Star, Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> uh, yeah, ask her what she thinks. Should Vader be in the Obi Wan series? Let me ask you three questions. Are you too busy no, falling in love? Those are the love? three. Those okay. are the three that I and and then also um, remember the journal in the star in the yeah, recent comics. comics. Yeah, yeah. There could be stories from the journal that they use in this, which would be interesting. Well, the story group's gonna have a lot to do with it, yeah. and I wonder, and I wonder how much, like, what is Filoni's role overall with the TV stuff now, right? Because yeah. he had, he was a very big part of anything animated series, right? Even right. Resistance, for which he wasn't he wasn't directing on, but he was an executive producer right. on it. And depending if they're, su- from what I hear, they're super happy with Mandalorian. I mean, they're doing season two, yeah. So if you know, maybe having him and even Favreau as as producers on this thing, we're gonna learn some information. What about <clears throat> Lucas? Can't you bring Lucas back as an advisor for something like this? He was r- r- rumored to be doing location scouting yeah. when they yeah. were talking about. I, it, so I mean, so I, that's slow. the thing so about that's the thing in. about George. Like, as much as I I you know talk crap about the prequels, like he's a great story storyteller. Story yeah. Like best. he may not be a great screenplay writer, no. but but Board you director? saw A New Dialogue. Hope and Empire Strikes Back, amazing movies because. Of his story. contribution. And exactly. story. And and he is, uh, anytime you can get his thoughts, well, that's, again, why having Filoni yeah. involved, you get that even if it's unofficial. Yeah. Because, exactly. Because that's his, it's always will, and it, it always has been, his, it's his Yoda. And okay. Lucas, that's the one guy. That's that's the one guy who who he was taught. He was taught by yeah. by Lucas yeah. during the Clone the, the Clone Wars uh, show. Yeah. And so there, I, that's why I never understood that. I th- always thought he should be the like, creative, overall creative yeah. guy. Like Let's hang it out. yeah. What about Hayden? Any chance? If we're gonna bring Vader. Uh, in the mask, you, physically? I mean, you could, but it's not necessary. Okay. He would do it though. Yeah, uh, I don't of course know he, he would. I don't know. If I he think would. now he would because before I feel like he, you know, all of those people felt very yeah. rejected from. Oh, yeah, he's but got no, more but love now. But now that you go to Star Wars Celebration, you see everyone clapping for him. He's and, got a lot of love now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It, people turn the corner on it because, yeah. and I and I, stick, I stand by this. I think that it was, and a lot of us in this room. Well, after the prequels, why? because we grew up, a lot of us grew up with the original trilogy, yep. and I know there are a lot of people who grew up with the prequels, and they feel very differently than this, but the original trilogy people who grew up with it, and we got the prequels and were disappointed, and then they said, that's it, no more Star Wars movie. You went, that's it? That's yeah. all we got? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, and then you went, ah, man, I'm because you were bummed with what we just got. And then when they made the announcement, there's new movies. All right, well, you know, it's all part of the family. Okay. It's all part of the family. I still, I mean, Attack of the Clones stinks, but it's still part of the family. There's moments. You know, there, there's moments in the prequels like that I what? love. But in Attack of the Clones, mm-hmm. I love the Jedi uh, arena when they all show oh, yeah, up. that's an awesome scene. I love when Yoda pulls mm-hmm. out his lightsaber. Oh. I love, I do. I love I the even after that, What about the, the like, Jango, with, like, Fett little, Jango Fett fight? Like, Jango Fett and, Jango Fett yeah. fight and the, Obi-Wan. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. That I love. Um, okay. There's moments. Yeah, like I said, Attack of the Clones is my least favorite, though. We could get a young Boba. We could get a young Boba. I can't stand deeply. that. I can't stand that. You could. I turned a corner on the prequels like a lot of people because I, I started to really appreciate mm. the overall yeah. story. The execution? Mm. Right. Well, I just to yes. Roku asked that you could see Boba. Young Boba? Absolutely possible. I think you have a chance to see him. If, if Maybe not. Maybe what you could do is mm-hmm. you could see Jabba. Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. You could see Jabba. Could they stubbornly put Jar Jar in this thing? Jar Jar mm. is living on Tatooine, but he's remember do it. He, he's like <laughs> the answer is no. They won't do that. But, okay. but, but how do you know? Because now also the whole Ahmed best thing. Ahmed best thing. Yeah, but remember, from where he is, yeah. he's just he's a clown selling garbage on the on in like yeah. markets. Now. True, true. So maybe he's, like a little mini cameo yeah. or something. Maybe. And that was an aftermath, right? That was in one of the aftermath. That it was is, in yeah. the third one. It yeah. is yeah. funny though. One. How much he, that was Tatooine and not Naboo. I thought it was Tatooine. I, I think it was Naboo. I think it was Naboo. He's, he's not, not, he's not, not even, even on Tatooine. You're right. Like, what the hell? Okay. Right. Okay. I say he's the Stop most... Stop texting with your girlfriend. What? No, I'm, I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm saying there's possibilities because yeah, the timeline yeah. works. No, I'm actually Roka. <laughs> it's, uh, you don't, you know, you don't, you, it's you know, the wrong planet. Yeah, whether or not Ahmed Best has now, you know, the fans are, are giving him respect and he's... You're not going to do that to your to your to All the right. fan base because it's right. it's too divisive. 
to oh. do that, and, and not necessary. It's just not necessary to throw him in. Some people, in there. I don't know, man. Like I obviously was not a fan of Jar Jar Binks. Nothing against the actor, yeah. like, like right. the, the character, but the people that grew up with the prequels, like I know a lot of people. Jack Hine here, he loves Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, because yeah, he grew up with. Yeah, him. that's yeah, what I mean. Same, so same he's thing. still loved by yeah. a so lot of people. It may be for us kind of doesn't make sense, but for those people, it might make sense because everything's turning around. They're re-embracing Hayden. They're right. re-embracing Ahmed Best and, and Jar Jar Binks. Hayden, if we move it, past it, 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 but I'm with him on that. I. I would not mind to see Jar Jar. I would, mind I would not mind. I bother. think it would be actually really what cool. About, time has passed. What about the so. accent, though, that like, apparently yeah. Yeah. offended if you could, some like, people? When I read the, the thing in uh, Aftermath, yeah. I, it, it, it was very touching, I, I'm going to say. Because it, it's almost like an, Wendig knew what the divisiveness yeah, was yeah. around the character yeah, yeah, yeah. and right. put this kind of imbued it with this, like, this sadness where right. it's like the fandom is almost like a comment on the fandom. Yeah, right. And here he is ending up you know, selling yeah. Garbage. It, and it he's brings, such a it, good writer. It, yeah, it brings Chuck. it brings. And he's one. He was he was like a jester for the kids. Basically, yeah, yeah. Was, right. was what yeah, he is, yeah. and that's what he was. Um, but no, the, I, I yeah, I, I don't I, think I respectfully disagree with both Brain of you. That I, think, that, I, that I think it would be that, that you wouldn't mind that I would mind it because I think that it, it would if they set this tone. If you think about it, if the tone is Obi Wan on this planet mm. trying to figure out how to survive, and then like. What do I do? Hey, Mr. Kenobi! Yeah. It's like, what? Yeah. what, what that, just, that just threw if he, up If Obi-Wan had to do a time. mission no. and maybe go to Naboo and there's a and there's that scene from Aftermath, eh, yeah. maybe. I, what about, up, what about actually brought up a good point. Wait, Padme, 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 like, Padme, she's dead. Well, oh, his, she is dead yeah. but after yeah. that. Damn it, no. You made mind. a good point. Just stop no. texting with your husband. Ghost? Stop yeah. texting with your husband. No, you can't. No, but you remember Remember this. Remember the fact that some people are going to be thinking that Obi-Wan, <laughs> because he's on Tatooine, like, oh, a whole movie on Tatooine? Who says that? Who says yeah. that? Yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, wait, wait the whole movie's going to be on Tatooine? The whole, the whole show's going to be on Tatooine? It, never once did they say he, did, he never tra- he didn't yeah, travel true. off. That's I'm still pissed they haven't gone back to Endor or Hoth. God damn it. You don't know yet. Well, yeah. I want I th- them to. I, think I want Ewoks. Well, they've never been to Endor. But I want them to. The, the moon have never been to Endor. Ever. But I, I've been saying. You're okay. I know like, where you're going. <laughs> I want. I want, it, I want them. I want them to yeah. go to Endor for sure. I think they're gonna go to Endor. Endor, but not the not the moon. In, ep, in episode nine, could I Leia be there? Go. Could Leia be there? Bail Organa? Anything there? Alderaan? Mm, Alderaan, maybe. No, because I don't think that I don't think that Leia had any interactions with Obi Wan. Okay. Because from that from that R two D two message, you know, it just mm-hmm. looks like years ago you fought with my father in the Clone Wars, and it's like yeah. that's not what you'd say to someone if you saw them recently. True. Um, but Bail Organa, maybe. Bail, Jimmy saying. Smith yeah. showing up would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That's right. a de-aged Jimmy. Yeah. No offense. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> that is I, enough Star Wars. Star Wars. I know, 30 I know. minutes of Star Wars. I know. It was a, I, well, I wasn't on Jedi Council yesterday. So yeah. Did you guys yeah. talk about it on Jedi yesterday? Yeah, so? we did. But awesome. we were talking about it as a rumor. And then it broke yeah, like this. And then well, it's still here we kind are. of a rumor. Because Lucas yeah, a lot of, I mean, once Hollywood Reporter's going in on a it. A lot of people you know, responded to a tweet of mine goes, not confirmed. And it's like, I understand Disney hasn't confirmed it. But when the when the trades do it. And right before D twenty three, I mean, you got you got to understand trades like this, they're they're reputable for a reason. So yeah. what it means is one of two things. It means that either someone from the Hollywood Reporter called their contact at Lucasfilm and said, "Hey, look, this is what we're hearing. Any truth to this?" And Lucasfilm either says one of two things: either no comment, yeah, which means all right, well then I'm going to go, or someone says yes, but off the record, I can't say anything about it, uh, so you can't put my name in there, whatever it might be, and then they. Report it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Deadline did originally on. reported this and said he signed and it's done. Yeah. Then they updated their story an hour later and said he's in talks oh. and then changed their headline a bit. It's, so Deadline put it out and I'm a guarantee Lucasfilm called and gave shit and said, listen, and because we're right at D23, they want to they announce want to this at D23. It's probably like a Robert Pattinson thing where it was like confirm, not confirm. But right, right. This is exactly what's happening. Uh, anyway, so before we move on, what do you guys think? Go ahead and comment whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching on the replay or on the clip. Um, do, you wanna see, on do you want to see? Do you want to see an Obi Wan series? And if you do, what do you think should happen inside of this six episode series? Go ahead and comment. Anything else going on in the world of news? Yeah, I mean, what? still more Star Wars. Oh, uh, Benny off and Weiss. <laughs> there you go. I like it, but come on, it's been thirty minutes that we talked about. You don't want Star. You don't want this. Want is Benny off and Weiss <laughs> and yeah. Ryan Johnson? What Ryan is... Johnson, sure. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's what? do something that won't cause any problems in the uh, in the comment section. Tell me about the Ryan Johnson. Let's talk thing. about Left <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I hear there's a Mulan story that it was really peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first off, THR is saying the the sources are saying that the Thrones uh, Game of Thrones Benny off and Weiss yeah. are writing a treatment mm-hmm. for their trilogy and they're committed to pending at least one of the films.
Williams. The original deal was going to write all three, right? But now it's, it's saying it's a treatment and at least one film, so we could get some different writers coming in. Interesting, okay. So there was that, and then um, Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson, when he was talking about his next movie, Knives Out, he said um, that he's definitely going to uh, move on. There's not going to be any legacy characters. That's kind of, yeah, no yeah. kidding. Um, and he's looking to find the essence of what makes a Star Wars movie Star Wars. So he says, I think the fun and challenging part is to dive in, figure out what's exciting, and then figure out what's going to be. We're doing something that steps beyond the legacy characters. What does that look like? To me, the blue sky element of it all is what is what is most striking about it. I know the way I'm coming at it and what's fun about it for everyone in George Lucas's films is figuring it out. What's the next step? It really makes you think and figure out what the essence of Star Wars is. I am uh, I'm really curious about because he, if if he's going on to do this trilogy, right, mm-hmm. Ryan Johnson, and we are pretty sure that Benioff and Weiss's stuff is coming first. There's also stuff we'll probably learn because it, it's it's no coincidence that these stories break right before D23. Yep. So I'm sure we're gonna get some news about what's coming next. If I was to guess, I'd say Benioff and Weiss are gonna have their movies first. The first one coming out in 2022, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Then 2024, and then 2026. Mm-hmm. So in, when in the hell is Ryan Johnson's movies coming out? If In that period, does it come out in between? Because they said they want to do movies every two years. Are they going to go back to doing movies once a year? Yeah. Because if not, you're not seeing Ryan Johnson's movies for almost 10 years from now. Right. And then but and we'll Kathy Kennedy. Then. <laughs> no, I don't know about Aren't that. We? <laughs> <laughs> what you, do you, have you heard have you something? <laughs> no, she's seen something and put a hex on us. Jesus. Yeah, it was, it was yeah really whenever I said, smile. whenever I shake my shoulders and dance to cumbia or salsa, like, <laughs> that's when I'm hexing people. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Roger? What do you think seen, uh, <clears throat> when do these movies, Ryan Johnson movies, show up, if any? Listen, I don't want to get all. in trouble. <laughs> I don't. Well, yeah, I, since when do you care about that? I Well, because sometimes. You don't think they're happening. Look, I love Ryan Johnson to pieces. I think he's a fantastic director. I'm looking forward to Knives Out. Do I think this trilogy is ever going to see the light of day? Yeah. I kind of, I'm still in that camp where I don't. You know going to happen. Yeah, and, and I don't know why you do it because it's he's the the, the, the film is so divisive. If you if you're gonna call and talk to me about Jar Jar, there's like this. Him, you're saying he's divisive. Ryan yeah. is divisive. Right. That well, film is divisive. Ryan is divisive in a way, and that 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 concerns me when you're launching a new trilogy. Yes, and I don't disagree with you, but mm. the counter to that is because as crazy as people are, and he's an incredible filmmaker, right? That, and that's I'm not and saying that's kind of the point I'm going here. That's crazy as people are, and as much shit as they've given this guy. Yeah, this is also a very forgiving business, mm-hmm. and I can tell you right now there and there's some people who just refuse to see anything that Ryan Johnson does Star Wars related, right? Or even ge- in general, right. which is if pretty he, dumb. But if he makes a movie mm-hmm. that is incredible yeah Mm -hmm. like because i love looper i think it was great yeah looper's great if he makes a movie that is incredible and doesn't because one of the main things that people had a big problem with myself included with last jedi is Mm -hmm. what will luke and what he did with the overall characters if he has all brand new characters that are set in the universe and it's a really good story and it creates new characters and new lore that people are on board with. They're gonna go, I don't like, I hate the Last Jedi, but this one's cool. All right, he's cool yeah. again. And, and people are like, No way, no, no, I never feel that way. Yes, you will. If it's a good Star Wars movie, <laughs> right. you will. But the flip side of that, yeah, is, if he does say. it again, if he, he's, he's done. Right. If he starts this new <laughs> trilogy and the first Dude, movie is terrible, he, yeah. he's like, not would, George would Lucas. It's risky. Guys, if you guys were Ryan Johnson, <clears throat> would you still work in the Star Wars universe? It depends on him. I mean, he's the type. But I don't think. Because I don't I, think it's I that would, for him. I think it's. I, I think. Like, I, think mm. I think money's a part of it. I also think the challenge. That's. Of it. I think that's, that's what true. it is. He's a creator. I think he wants. I think he wants to. He's a fighter. But you're never going to please everyone. Is the thing. But I don't know the guy. And there's two questions. The question one is that he wants to say, okay, look, I didn't like the. Way that you know half the people really thought I got what I did. Other people hated it and think I ruined Star Wars. Now is it is it? I want to make sure that I redeem myself and I want to redeem myself in the eyes of Star Wars fans. Yeah. That's one side of it. The other side is fuck them. I'm gonna do exactly what I want to do. I right. still got my movie and and he, well, he does it with a smile on his face and I'm gonna go do whatever I want to do anyway and they can just suck it. I don't know him. Yeah. I don't know what side he plays on, and I don't know yeah. if whether or not he's he's secretly saying, you know, he, I'm going to do it again, I'm going to do it my way, and maybe he likes pissing people off. I have no do, idea. He should do because of the weird humor that I thought we saw in Last Jedi. He should just do Spaceballs too, <laughs> or a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. Yeah, he'd be great in the MCU. Holy yeah. shit, he'd be great in the MCU. Yeah, I can see him doing an Ant Man movie like nobody's Easily. business. Yeah, it's just like because you and I are on the same page. Mm-hmm. Like when when there's there's phone call jokes about yeah. your, your mom's on the line. Like that that's not Star Wars. No. Um, and yeah. the thing is this. Or the, what was that iron that it's like slowly coming down? Oh, I was yeah, like, am yeah, I yeah. watching Spaceballs? Space it was yeah. a Spaceballs. It was a Spaceballs. Yeah. 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 Yeah
like took me out of the movie. Yeah, it was I know. so but weird. But he's he's a warrior. Yeah. Like on yeah. Twitter, he has taken all the hits and come back and yeah. gotten the best of most people who've come back yeah. before him. So he's a guy who's like, all right, I took a hit. I'm gonna yeah. get back in that damn ring. So I respect. But did he that. take a hit? Oh yeah, Dude, the, movie, went the, after the movie made almost the movie made over a billion dollars. Oh, sure, three billion dollars. Went yeah. After he took a hit. Social media wise, and as far as you know, his the fan base, right? No doubt. I would take a hit social media wise if I could buy a house with that. That's what I mean. He did, I mean, he made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. He made a lot, I mean, he didn't see that billion, but he, he, whatever his deal was, but he, but he still, he made a lot of money off it. Uh, I'm just on the side of things where I think he should move on and do other things. Mm -hmm. I don't think he should, you know. I'm with you on that one. But as a filmmaker, you're going to do what you you feel is right to create, because. Filmmakers just want to create, and right. and I could see like you're saying like I mean we're t- we're we're speculating what he's feeling. We can't. He's a human being, right? right. Yeah. But uh, but at the end of the day, it's like I mean I could see him just wanting to stay in the universe just to explore. Maybe we don't know what happens behind the scenes. Like we don't know how yeah. much control he had over this movie, right? Mm-hmm. Like we don't know. Like maybe he maybe he'll he wants to do something where they give him more freedom. You know, well, he had a lot of freedom on last year. You think so? Yeah. Oh, How he, do you know? Oh, yeah. to pull because that off? the last Jedi happened. Yeah. 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 To pull and that off? The, the original. He had, he had a lot of so you think he? So he decided to have because so, I love half half the movie and hate half of the movie. Yeah. He, right. He, so so too. you think that whole scene in Canto by like where it's like it turns into Harry Potter that That's was him. all him? Yep. yep. Really? Yep. Here's Damn, the thing: man. the original announcement of Ryan Johnson coming on for Episode Eight was he's writing and directing Episode mm-hmm. Eight, and then he's also going to write Episode Nine. That was his original deal, and then before. Or we even got Force Awakens. It was kind of confirmed and kind of uh, saying, no, he's 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 writing treatment for for nine. Right. And we don't know what's going to happen with nine yet. And then Colin Trevorrow was hired for nine, and then we we didn't hear and much this, after. And that. then all of those went out the window. Yep. Um, okay, but, so let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I don't want Last Jedi. Get over here, you motherfuckers. Can't stand it. Shut the fuck up. It's just a movie. It's just a movie. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It's just a movie. Why do they know where's the time codes? <laughs> 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 it's very true. Um, okay, we will move on. You know what? We haven't done it in a while, and I'll what? let you give me a movie, and we'll, we'll have the we'll have the retro guy do it. Uh, Arnold in a movie. Um, Christopher Lloyd, Back to the Future. That's all right. Okay. Cool. Oof. Hey, Marty, <laughs> come here. I got to tell you something. It doesn't matter what time it is. Yeah, your parents they don't even gonna know if your dad's watching the honeymooners. You listen. I got the car. I did something with the plutonium, though. You can't tell them. You don't. And they, they, now the, the Libyans be very upset. So listen, you get in the car and you do a test. Watch this first. Einstein, get into you. Watch this. It goes fast. Where'd he go? You want to know where he is? Oh, there he is. A minute later. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. What's that? Who's that van? Oh, my goodness. Watch this. Uh-oh. They shot me. I'm dead. Go. Get out of here. Go back to 1955. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Doc, mm-hmm. are you telling me you built a time machine <laughs> out of a chopper? Yeah, not the chopper, you idiot, the DeLorean. Chopper's my other Get movie. to the chopper, Doc. <laughs> okay, come on. Hey, listen, don't fuck your mother. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sound advice. Sound advice, Doc. It's, it's heavy. Uh, it's, yeah. it's so, heavy. so many balls. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Anything else going on in the world? Uh, oh. we, have, we have some little, uh, little news things. Uh, Martin Freeman has kind of confirmed that he will return as Everett Ross in uh, Black Panther 2. Cool. He, you know, I like that him. scene. I like that wow. scene where he's doing the VR. I think oh, yeah. Scene. He's yeah. so yeah. great in Sherlock, man. Yeah, he's he is. Awesome. Uh, so anything else? I'm trying to think of What's this? I'm like, what? enough Star Wars. What's this? Uh, Star Wars. Martin Freeman's on Star What's this horror thing? What the, horror the thing? The Amblin thing. Crawls yeah, this is cool. Oh, this you're going to be mad at me. Why? Are oh, you going to be mad at me? What'd you do? And I looked for, I tried to get a plus one. I really tried. I got. I'm going to the premiere of It. Mother going to the premiere? Ever. I got an email. I, I wow. never get invited to the Warner Brothers ones. I got an, inv- uh, an invite to go to the IT premiere. And, um, and I was like, and I looked for a plus one. I had to take Alice. Of course. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. that's fine. Uh, I, um, I'll i talk about it next week. But, uh, oh, did you see it? Are you coming to I will talk about it next oh, week. Oh, you saw it already. Oh. What a but uh, but the it experience is probably better is that cool than the too? It's so much fun, you guys. Mm. You have you have to go. It's sold out. It is. Yeah. Well, then you guys have what, connections. You, oh, what did you do? Did you get us into the uh, horror nights for Makuga? Uh, yes, I am talking to Universal currently. Okay. We're just trying to finalize a date. In did se- you tell them Katie wants to yes. know? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Because so. that, that might help. 
uh, help them, you know, yeah. promote it or whatever. Yeah, no, um, I'm I am currently uh, talking to them. Right. Just got to finalize the date, so we will yeah, all tell be me there when and... so I can let her know, and then we'll go. Cool. go. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm gonna very be excited. Makuga is very excited. Uh, he's not <laughs> excited. Winston, I try to get Winston. I go, Win- you might as oh, well. Oh, does he Winston. get scared too? Winston is scared oh, too. Oh, sweet. Just watch his chapter two trailer reaction with Jay Washington. It's one great. of the funniest can he things not, I've seen. Really? Can, can we bring it up? Can he not? Did he say he wouldn't do it? If he said he wouldn't, he will not do it. Uh, Winston Marshall it what, what, review. Would he not do it for charity? It, what do we start to like a Kickstarter charity? Which uh, yeah, there it is. is. All right, let's let's see. I haven't I haven't seen this. It's yet. a ten minute trailer reaction. No, ten minutes. That's not. Yeah, I think because they talk after it and all no, that kind of stuff. I just want to see a little of it. No, so let's, I don't know, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is the creepy old lady. That's why. Cause that's He's just shaking his head. head. They murder people. They, they murder people. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening, and he's no. Look at his face; he's scared out of his mind. I don't know how much of this we can play without it getting. Yeah. Let me just go. I'll, I'll, I'll watch. But yes, so he, does he yeah. not watch? Does Winston not watch horror movies in general? No, he hates it. He, yeah, it's like, he doesn't it's, like him. He said he, he said he got kicked out of uh, not scary farm because he punched a guy in the face and scared him by accident. That happens. Uh, that, yeah. I have heard that happen. Yeah, well, we showed we showed a, a video of a. Uh, don't worry about it, Cody. It's fine. It's Just, fine. Yeah, Look at to, that. It's so yeah. great. I did Halloween Horror Nights for a couple of years, and that happens. That's something yeah. you have to tell oh, yeah. them over and over again. Uh, Doing oh, the Walking what? Dead exhibit, I had to tell people as they were going in, because I played one of the saviors, I had to tell them going in, like, do not hit the zombies. They will bite your hand off or whatever. Were yeah. you a scare actor? Not as not one of those people that jumps okay. out. No, I was a guy they started uh, for the Walking Dead thing. Mm-hmm. They had me dress up as one of the saviors, and so I stood on a platform with a microphone, mm. and the people were in line, and I was just telling them all the rules, but in the form of one of the saviors. Like, you can't okay. be doing this kind Dude, of stuff. And right. look, listen, I did three years of Not Scary Farm with mm. Roger Craig Smith. Uh, like, <laughs> oh. We did it every year in high school. And these people, and I was a scare. Yeah, I was a, I was a castle jester with a yes. skeleton face, and I would slide on the ground. These people will punch you yeah. because yes. they get scared. Yes. But the very first scare I did, I came out of the side. This guy went, ah, bam. And I just got clocked. My bell was rung and I went, oh. Did you fall over or something? No, or I came just... back in and I was just, Jesus. Oh. I and I took off the mask and was like, how? And I they don't pay you shit. I would spend a lot of Can money. We... I pay more money than they paid him to watch that footage. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can we have you guys dress as scare actors when Winston and McCoo are here? What was the bet? Didn't we make sure. a bet that you were supposed to dress up as something? What, what was that, that was for Brett and I. No, there was something else. You were going to dress in afterwards. pink and he was oh, going to dress Oh, if you watched the thing. No, it wasn't you, that. Yes, it was. Was it? it was. If you, I think you wanted me to do like a weird... Uh, Leoli blonde mean girls what attire. What was it? For, what, for like what? It, for you to watch it. the no, thing. No, it wasn't it. It wasn't mm-hmm. that thing. The thing was something else. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what is the thing? Is it a good movie? <laughs> Um, sorry, Ryan. We're, I'm leaving. You should. The show's over. Yeah, so funny. I, wa- I watched. I watched Twitter, uh, uh, the Twitter, whatever it was a comments the other day, and they were. <laughs> and somebody was like, you know, Christian blames his wife for this. But I know what it is. Oh, yeah. He just enjoys trolling the audience yeah. at this point. I mean, he really does. I got to be honest with but you. For nice what, work, at Sherlock. what cost? <laughs> at what cost? And not watching like, one of not, the best movies ever made, if great. not the best horror movie ever I've made. I've seen it. It's really good. Shut the fuck up. 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 Speaking of, is there anything else to talk yeah, about? Yeah, we just have one. Uh, we just dropped on Collider.com. We have a special advanced screening of Angel Has Fallen. It's Monday night oh, yeah. at Arclight, Sherman Oaks. And Q&A with director Rick Roman Waugh. So nice. uh, go, uh, if you go to Collider.com right now, you can uh, enter to win and see it on Monday at Arclight, Sherman Oaks. Sherman Angel Oaks. Has Fallen. I love that the series. Third, the third one. It's John good. Butler's I like awesome. the first one. First the, good. Third, the first one's great. I love the first one. Second, second one's ridiculous. Sucks. Yeah, second one's stinks. This so one, fun. I don't know. Wait, yeah. what was this haunted house movie for Amlin? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, that's the my friend uh, Nick Simon is writing that movie. Cool. It's really great. It's going to be a choose your own adventure <gasps> horror movie. Um, like this, a Black Mirror type thing? Yeah, let me pull but up people the... People uh, will be in the theater with their phones. I don't know uh-huh. how the that would actually how they're going to do this. Um, it, they say it's going to be an interactive haunted house mm-hmm. movie. Alexander Aja, who did oh, Crawl... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alexander Aja is good. Yeah. He's great, and he's coming off of it, like great reviews of Crawl. Yeah. He's going to direct this. Uh, Nick Simon is uh, writing it with Jeff Howard. Uh, and From and, of Hill and House. Mike Flanagan, who directs mm-hmm. uh, Dr. Sleep, Dr. Sleep mm-hmm. and The uh, Haunting of Hill House, mm-hmm. he came up with the story, and they're developing this. Um, I have no idea what interactive means in a movie theater, but it's Amblin, which cool. I love. 
And Nick Simon, my friend, is a fantastic writer. So when they mm. announce he's on, I'm like, ah, oh, hell yeah. What yeah. a crew. Yeah. That could be fun. The rumor is that you're going to be in the theater and have the app on your phone, mm -hmm. and you can choose, and depending on the number... Like, like, a, the, like a voting test yes. system? Like the voting test, and then so the film will veer that way oh, automatically cool. the, like, because the so, app will... So it, but takes, I don't wanna, it takes the majority of what people... Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be in a theater with people on their phones. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, I hate to, but that's, yeah, I that's, hate that's, to break it to you, old people. This is yeah. how it's yeah. going. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think it's brilliant. It's different. How dare you call us old? But wait, though. I think you're right. spirit. But there's difference, though, I think that from what you're saying, you don't want to go to watch a movie with people on their phones, yeah. right? That's like if I go to see whatever the hell's out this week, uh, Good Boys, and I go to see that this weekend, people on their phones, I'm pissed. But if I go into a movie knowing that that's what right. the experience right. is, yeah. that's not a bad point. Yeah, yeah. prepared yeah. for yeah. it. Yeah, that's just true. Your expectations. Yeah, because that's kind of the point of it is that everybody's supposed to be doing yeah. that. Yeah. It's when you're not supposed to be doing it that it stinks. I don't understand that. Yeah. Like, the, like it's one thing if you're, you know, family emergency and like every so often, like lower the the brightness mm. level and you know and look at your phone like this, like you, like don't be a I dick do, about it. I do this thing if there's always, I, I, if there's ever an emergency. You need to or lower the brightness. But I, I but I do this. I've seen you. But I do this. But you need to lower the brightness, old <laughs> man, grandpa. But I never. But you know what? I never check. I, I, I if I check it, it's like once, once out of every and, four yeah. movies. Have you thought and about I, lowering the brightness, <laughs> <laughs> grandpa? But I go. But I go like this. I always yeah. use my jacket yeah. to cover it. It's so funny. Yeah, my, my, my friend from my friend from <laughs> I had my phone under my boobs and then look at it. <laughs> my friend from home just uh, wrote me. There's the, the lunatic. I, t I told you about oh, the one, yeah, the one who used yeah. to break into the mach machines and uh, <laughs> what uh, do we call him? Uh, Barnaby. Barnaby. And yeah. he used to break into the the. I didn't tell you this. So he, he did a lot of schemes in, in this movie theater. I worked this guy's the always one, had a the plan. The one thing that he did that was amazing was we he the Mortal Kombat machine. Mm -hmm. And it was popular, it was like 95, is when it was uh, right, tight. Right. And he just kept ripping off the Whoa. machine with all the quarters. Oh. And the guy came in when they put a padlock on it. So he came in, <laughs> Barnaby, and he looked, and he stopped in the middle of the thing. He just looked, and we looked at him, like, what's he doing? He looks. He just walks out of the theater. <laughs> like, what are you? He's supposed to be working. Comes back with with a with the with the, with the cutters. Bolt cutters. <laughs> the bolt cutters. Cuts the bolt. Steals all the quarters. Goes back. Returns the bolt cutters. Right? <laughs> the guy. The guy comes back in. and goes. What the hell is this possible? <laughs> Nobody's watching in this theater. And it clicked, but but so. And he, but he's he, he's one of my I've known him for a long time, but he's he's a lunatic, yeah. and he's been going on the on the page on the, oh, on the oh, movie, movie oh, trivia oh, showdown page, yes. and he's been commenting about like he he I don't think he's ever watched showdown once, right, right, and, right. And the Shire Wolves uh, retired. And he oh, goes, no, no. But all he says is just like the reason they retired is the lack of competition, and I'll tell you why. And he's going through this whole thing, and I just banned him from the page. <laughs> and so so he wrote he wrote he wrote, he wrote a novel. You're did, like delete. Yeah, he, it, was a, it was a big but because he's never watched it. Yeah, it's yeah. one. Thing, right, it, I wouldn't right. do that to somebody who's legit was talking about it. But he was. Yeah, what he is was, that with people and opinions when you haven't watched something? Man? He, he was doing. He was doing it just to just to. to he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I, he just wrote me as we're. He's like, I just got banned from the movie trivia showdown page. How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because I know your game, fucko. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, let's let's get the phone calls. We got about I don't know ten minutes or so. Yeah, we'll yeah. do that. Uh, Cody, let me know whenever you got one. Oh, I just read uh, another this new story. Uh, yeah. What's it called? Searching sequel. Did you guys watch Searching? Searching yeah, was good. How yeah. you I really that like that movie. They, I don't know, they, but it's a great movie. It's gonna be a different person. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a different situation. Yeah. Different yeah. situation. Okay. Okay. I, I really like that movie. Me a lot. too. Very I creative, it was and I thought I was gonna get old to that, but bored by that shtick real fast. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It no, was really it's, good it's, movie. I've never seen anything like that. I yeah. guess that what was that um, unfriended movie? They just yeah. didn't yeah, do it. Was, it. They, the execution was just different. Yes, right. it, was, it was different. Yeah. But that was like all Skype. Yeah. Right. This was. This was. This was. This you, is you Facebook. Didn't like, you didn't like this movie? Unfriended. I didn't like. Oh, no, no, no. Searching. Searching was really good, man. Yeah, because it was all. I mean, it was all from the computer. So it wasn't necessarily what whatever the unfriended was, no. like the Skype, Skype or whatever. This was everything. This, this was, was phone, everything. Was phone, Skype, Skype computer, like yeah. social media, everything. Right, but to great. make a movie where most, like half of the movie, this it's a screen where yeah. you're watching, you know, whether you're watching people navigate the internet or do FaceTime mm. and things like that. Like it's it's it. That's a testimony to how well it was directed yeah. and edited and yeah. acted as well. Yeah. So this was the. Is this from John the director? John. Yeah, Anish Shaganti. Can yeah. you uh, can you go up a little bit so because Broca's big head is in the way. Sorry. So. <laughs> His Guys. head's like Sputnik. It a little bit more. It's uh, <laughs> sorry. It's true, but note the story will not follow the same characters or plot line as the first. Most importantly, we'll see this as an opportunity to tell another original tech-driven thriller, if we can do that, and help bring new faces and voices to the industry. Bonus points. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I will uh, watch. That. Okay. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, you got Chris from Walnut, California. What's up, Chris? Hello. What do you got for us? 
So I saw uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood uh, the other day. Yes. And it couldn't be more evident that Tarantino just loves feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, that's so been... I was wondering... He would put my feet in a movie. Yeah. After he choked you. Yeah. <laughs> so I was wondering if you guys have ever dated anybody with uh, a weird fetish, or if you guys have any weird fetishes yourself. Go ahead, Dorina. <laughs> 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 um, I mean, I don't, I don't think fetishes are weird. I mean, there's some weird ones but I've never, yeah. I, that I know of, of that I haven't been involved in. I need you to stare at me with your left eye and touch yeah, my shoulder. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, like, like I know, like, I know furries exist, you know, yeah, but right. I've never been involved in that. I right. know, you know, there's that weird one where people do the diaper thing. I yeah, don't know why. Yeah, the diaper why. thing is strange. I don't it's get so, that at all. I don't get it either. Whatever, well, that's, if, that, if that's fetish. for you, you yeah. know, but yeah, right. no, yeah. I've, the only thing I've done is BDSM because I like that stuff. Oh. Yeah. All right. And I highly recommend. Yeah. Yes. Explain to the people what it is. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know if they know. Do what people it is. not know? Don't, don't explain what it is. I don't oh, care. okay. Well, it's it's basically when you when you do um, like submission or dominant stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, some some people really like to take over because in their lives they are usually submissive, right? right. And so they want to do the opposite. Exactly. Are you a and, mistress? And I am no. I am a switch. Oh, what does so that you mean? like to be dominated? Sometimes. I like both. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Your Cody is slamming on the other one. I yeah. think both are good yes, for you. I, I think it's fun. Yeah. Cody just realized I'm having a daughter. I'm having a daughter. <laughs> hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, guys. Hey, Hi. Who's, Hi. Yeah, who's this? this is hey, this is, uh, this is Jake from Walnut. Hey, Jake, what's going Hi, on? Hey, Jake. Yeah, I'm, I can't believe I finally got through. You got it, man. Awesome. What, what do you got? Okay, um,. Yeah, for a Star Wars question, I know um, John Williams. This is his last film. Um, I was wondering who who uh, who would you like to see score the next film? I personally, um, there's a female composer. Uh, I can't remember her name. She did the Chernobyl show. Okay. Um, yeah. She's also doing the Joker movie. Nice. Uh, and she's really amazing. Um, nice. I would like to see either her or like my dream composer is obviously Hans Zimmer. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to know, like, who who you guys want to see? Uh, hands down, Kevin Kiner. I think Kevin mm. Kiner should be doing all of the Star Wars movies. That's fair. Kevin Kiner, who did um, both Rebels and uh, Clone Wars, mm -hmm. makes a lot of his own. Sure. But he but he ties it in with the great John Williams themes. I think he would be straight up. He'd be great. Um, I love Alexander Desplat. <gasps> that was mine. Um, he was supposed oh, to do. That was mine. And exactly. He was supposed so to do Rogue One. I would like to see what he would do because um, he. I really liked his uh, Harry Potter scores. He did uh, both Deathly Hollow movies mm -hmm. and 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 I. He, there's some They're great, beautiful. beautiful motif there that yeah. I would really his, like to see him come up with new Star Wars motifs. His Godzilla score is really good. Yeah, exactly. How about you? How about you? Who do you got? Brian Tyler. Oh. Uh, uh, after, after I just yeah. saw Ready or Not, he did the score for that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and I know the, it's not out yet. I can't recommend it enough. His score is another like massive element of the movie to enjoy right. the film. He also scores so, your other show that you love. Yellow, uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you're going to go more grittier Star Wars, yeah. that could be great. I like him, too. He's a yeah. nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're doing Desplat, I'm going to say Patrick Doyle, yep. who did Thor. Who also did. And, and also did, Harry Potter. He did uh, Goblet of, of Fire. Yeah. And Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. And he Henry is, the Fifth. He, he is, he he is a yeah. phenomenal composer, yeah. And, yeah. I, and I think his sensibility that he did, especially listen to Thor, I think he could transfer over to Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. All right. uh, older women, I think, is, is my finish. All right. Uh, what, 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 what? Same. <laughs> Gilf. Same. No, not Gilf. Not no, Gilf. Milfs. It's always been Milfs, even when I was younger. Yeah. Well, when you're older, it'll be Gilfs. I guess it would. Yeah, well, yeah. I am older, yeah. but it's not Gilfs. That's so why we missed the boat. We missed the boat growing up. What? Because all these teachers. Never mind. I'm all right. <laughs> all right. Hey, 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 you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hello, guys. My name's Gabriel from Iowa. Hello, Gabriel Hello, from Gabriel. Iowa. How are you? What do you got for us today? Uh, I'm good. Um, okay, I'm a little concerned about the future of Star Wars. Like, like I'm um, like the backlash because of the Last Jedi. Like, I'm worried that that you may like the rights of Skywalker may not even make a billion dollars because I'm just that's just my opinion. It could not because of the backlash and even the future of the Star Wars movies. Because of if you let's travel back in our magic Tony Stark time machine. And, in, in a time machine and, and see what has happened since The Last Jedi. Like, um, Resistance, a TV show has bombed, and um, Solo bombed, and Galaxy's Edge is bombed. 
Uh, I, I I understand where you're going with it, but I think that all all the resistance was was built for for young children. I don't know how much it bombed. To be honest, it is yeah. it is it's season two. It, it was very well it's, loved it actually, critically. Isn't it? Res, resistance did, did not bomb, but um, but at Solo, uh, what we've talked about this many times. Solo's problem, uh, it came out two weeks after Avengers: Infinity War. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a movie nobody really wanted. It, it came out a week it, before Deadpool 2. It, yeah. There was no marketing on it, to which they even said they took away from the December release. And it was just, it was, I think it was a bad choice in the movie that they decided to put out. Just that, all the switching of directors and stuff? That wasn't a put my foot down because of Last Jedi thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Galaxy's Edge, uh, you know, they're, they're, it's very expensive. And mm-hmm. they haven't done. They haven't promised. They, they promised a lot of the things that I, that they didn't deliver on. Yeah. Um, it's not as interactive as, as everybody wanted it to be. So it just it just didn't. That one it just didn't work out. That's not a last Jedi thing. That's like people. The excitement for that was 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 palpable. People wanted to go. Um, I couldn't disagree more. The, the Skywalker is going to make a lot of money, yes. and maybe even because of the point you're talking about. Ryan Johnson is nowhere to be near that movie, and yeah. because I think a lot of the fans are want to see J.J. come back, they're going to support it. Last movie of the saga. Yeah. The yeah. last movie it's, of the saga. It's the biggest thing. Everyone's going to go see Two it. Billion? Even, even, if, even the people that hate The Last so. Jedi aren't going to mm-hmm. say they did, but they're going to go see I it. I said 1.5 okay. total. I said 1.5. I think too. Sorry, go ahead. What were you saying, caller? Um, I said, well, I said, well, I didn't really like the Last Jedi, and I, I don't have much hype for the Rise of Skywalker. So. Right. But you're gonna go. Are see you gonna it. go see it? Um, I will eventually, but right. I'm not yeah. gonna. But I'm in no rush to see it. But you're gonna. But see you're it, gonna though. see that's, it. That's that's kind of the yeah. point. Is that yeah. there are people because even those people who. Uh, really didn't like the movie and mm-hmm. uh, the last shot I had hated it. Uh, they're going to be curious. Yeah, they're going to be curious, and they're going to and they're see because there's a lot of people out there who you know are calling for heads of, yeah. of people, and but they I, still want to see how they're how the saga wraps. I didn't up. like Infinity War, and I still was going to see Endgame. It's yeah, not like just right. because you have a movie in a franchise that you that you enjoy or that you're passionate about. Like there's always stuff you're not going to like. Right. It doesn't it, mean you're not going to keep watching. Right. I think if it sticks to landing, two billion. Right. But I do think that, that yeah, we have two. But I do think that one of the points that should be made is Star Wars is like if you look at what baseball was, it was the national pastime, right? What? what Thank you. you. I don't know. You know football <laughs> is clearly national pastime. <laughs> national pastime. Now. Um, I think that's the same thing as what Star Wars was back in the day for us. Yeah. I think that's the MCU now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. yeah. Uh, it's not as popular with younger people the way it used to be. Mm-hmm. It's not it, people. They, oh, it's the end of it. It's not the end of it. It's not the end of it even, even by a long shot. And it and like I said before, one great movie, one great movie, and then people are going to be all on board again. Look at yeah. Ridley Scott. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ridley Scott was making a bunch of crap. Like he had like two, two or three, the tourist, or whatever. What he the did, counselor, yeah. count, a counselor. That's what it was. Counselor. Yeah. And he did, and a, then the and, and then he did the Martian and. Boom, he's back mm-hmm. in everybody's good grace, right? right? I still, I don't think yet in Star Wars, since I really enjoy Force Awakens, it's in my yeah. it's in my top uh, like five five Star Wars films, right? I don't think under this new regime yet, I think there's been a very good movie. I don't think there's been a great Star Wars movie yet, right. a great one. And that's hard to do. It's hard to make a great yeah. movie. So I don't, uh, when they do, I think just process elimination, if you make 10 to 20 movies, you'll probably get a great movie eventually, right? I think Mandalorian will be the first great Star Wars thing that they do. Wow. I agree. Okay. That's, that's I cool. hope so. Yes. But um, anyway, sorry. There was a big, a lot of Star Wars stuff. And again, like I said, don't I ask Christian on. more questions. He's uh, very excited about Star Wars. I know. I, I didn't get a chance to talk about <laughs> no, it yesterday in Jedi. Giant um, chill. Can we try to do one more? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? All right. Hey, uh, who's, who, who we got on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> Friday. Uh, hello, you're on Clyde Live. Who do we got? Hey, this is John from Fullerton. Hello, Hi, John. John. Hey. What's going on? What do you got? What's up, Chief? Hey, cool. All right. So, and this is actually a good crew to ask this to, too. All right. Two things that, um, one thing no one's talking about, and the other thing I've seen recently. So, I was showing my son, you know, a lot of classics. We rewatched Gremlins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I kind of want to ask him if he knew this or was this part of his, um, his backstory. So, are you aware that in the first Gremlins, they depict time travel happening on screen? No. Huh? No. When? Okay. So in that scene where the father, you know, he shows up, drops off Gizmo, goes back to the inventor's room or whatever, behind him on the left, 
you can see like the original time machine from H.G. Wells, the dish starts spinning. Mm-hmm. And then they cut to the kitchen with the wife. And then they cut back to the to the father and the time machine's gone. And then you kind of see a couple people walking around looking like with smoke coming up. And they're like inspecting the floor. I have never so heard of like, this. This is crazy. I gotta watch that. Anymore. I've never, I have never seen it, and I've well, watched that thing for thirty years. Wow. Okay. So, and I, I just, I didn't know if anyone else had seen it. No. I told my friends they well, I'm gonna go check. I'll check that out. Yeah. So we only because we have like one second left here. What else? Did you have something else? Yeah. Nobody's talking about um, the Russo brothers doing a live action of Battle of the Planet. And I heard you guys talking about old cartoons the other day. Oh. Hmm. That you want to see live action. Do you guys remember that one? Is that confirmed? No. Which one? Battle well, of the Planet. It, it's an old it, 80s movie. I think movie. it came out of... Uh, Richard it's Thomas. A, it's an old cartoon. It's before Voltron, before Robotech, yeah, yeah, yeah. before Silverhawk, before any of those. There's hmm. Battle of the Planet. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for the call, man. Sorry, we cut you off. We just got to get out of here. But um, we have to check that. We'll check out the uh, what the Russo is going on. We, I didn't know about it. I don't know enough no, about the, the program in general. Um, all right, guys, that's the show. Thank you Hey-o. for everybody who was on the show this week and, and for you guys for checking us out. We'll be back on Monday. Roxy Stryer will be here. Just got some word. She's trying to figure out what's going on with John Paul Jones. <laughs> so, everybody, uh, we will see you guys. Make sure you get those tickets to theshowdownlive.com. Like I said, we're going to be in New York August 31st. Going to be a big show. You're on the East Coast. Get there because it is going to be a big show. Arizona, Florida, and Orlando. Orlando. And finally, this Showdown Spectacular. We will see you guys on Monday. Thanks again. Wrong camera, Cody. Wrong camera. Breakfast. Oh, it's breakfast.